Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make quick and easy and free yet professional thumbnails. I'm going to teach you guys how to make uh, custom cutouts of, say, your character, and I'm going to show you guys how to put it all together. So first, you're going to want to get a picture of your character, right? To do so, I recommend going to the Photo Studio Times green screen place. All I did was search green screen in games. I got this place, and it has a fantastic green screen, and you can move your limbs, so it's really customizable. So uh, go into this game here. And when you're in the game, you're going to want to look for the green screens area. Uh, there's a bunch of green screens here, and there's no shadows, so it makes it way easier. Okay, so you're going to want to... Get your pose going so i'm gonna get let's see i'm i'm gonna do left arm like this oh hold on don't click because that undoes it and then i'm gonna turn my head like this no i just undid it again oh my god okay guys this is how i want my pose to be because i'm only gonna be using uh this top left portion here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a screenshot you can do that by pressing the print screen button on your uh, computer or you can just take a screenshot on your mobile device okay screenshot taken boom all right and uh, we can just leave the game because we're gonna be using that now guys a great software I recommend that's also free one that I use is paint.net so what you're gonna do is search get paint.net uh, this website it looks a little sketchy, but trust me. It's legit. It's just really outdated um, So what you're want, gonna want to do to download it is get the get it now free download like right up here and You're gonna go to it and then you're gonna click the download now Okay, and you're gonna Just keep going to the download and it's gonna install this and then you follow the directions from there And then it's in your computer blah blah blah. Okay now that that's out of the way um, for mobile users, I don't really have any recommendations because I don't really use mobile, but probably any green screen app or um, you can even look up chroma key in the app store or uh, photo editor. I don't know because I don't really use mobile, but uh, this is how I do it on PC and uh, I'm just cropping this real quick so it makes it easier. Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to have the whole image I just want this part okay and save all right now I have paint.net open and I'm gonna move my uh, picture into here okay so the pictures in and to get the green screen out of the way you're gonna need to download a plugin called chroma key now, getting this chroma key uh, plugin is it's uh, a little complicated for me to explain, so I'm just gonna put a video link up here in the top and in the description for you guys to uh, check out and get that plugged in. It's actually not as hard as I'm making it sound, but I just really don't want to have to explain it right now. Um, okay, so once you have your chroma key installed, you're gonna go to effects photo chroma key okay and now when you open that chroma key um there's gonna be some issues with the green screen right but that's what these are for as you can see there's a hole right here and part of this is opaque you can see through it um so you're gonna need to lower the oh that's not it on default you're gonna need to lower the effects of the green screen So you're going to need to lower the effects of the green screen, how intense it is. Once you can see all the green particles go away, but nothing is super opaque, that's probably a good spot to, to keep it at. Hold on. Yeah, that's about good. Okay, and so I have this issue where this spot here, it gets, uh, it gets see-through. And then so for little patches like these, I like to fill them in, but I don't want to have to do that like yellow color it was. So I'm just going to paint it white. Um, so, oh wait, hold on. I'm going to pick the color here 
and I'm just gonna fill it in. Alright guys, so that part looks done. Look, you can you can barely even see there was a hole there. Okay, and then for this hole, um, filling it in would be too much, there would be too much filled in. So I'm gonna paint this real quick. I'm gonna fill it in. Yeah, nice and smooth. Okay, okay. Alright, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run a quick green swipe around there. Boom, and now that looks good as new. Okay, guys, look at that. You can barely tell anything was, there were any holes in it. Okay, on to the next part. So now we want that white border, right? And if you just take this guy and you just expand it around him, that's really difficult to get like perfect proportion so i'm going to show you a really easy way to do it so you're gonna click on this here um you're gonna select it and you're gonna copy it you're gonna open a new file go to here you're gonna paste it and then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna just fill it in white all of it has to be white so fill in all the important parts make sure most things are colored Little things don't really have to be colored because, well, like this calculator here, I have to cover, hold on. Um, you take the paintbrush and you color it. Okay, okay, and then we're going to fill these two, I guess. Might as well. But the little lines, you really don't have to worry about because they will be filled in. And you're going to take the, the fill brush and click on any white part, and you're just going to keep click in that white button that that fill button okay okay now guys once the image is uh it's it's thick enough for you or whatever you're gonna select it again and you're gonna and you're gonna uh open a new layer you're gonna put it behind the one that this guy's on and you're gonna upload the uh the background there and so that is gonna you know go around it and all and it looks pretty good right now but i also want to have like some i also want to have some like shocked mouth on there so uh <laughs> i open this sad mouth shocked image thing so i'm gonna cut that make sure it is a cutout and i'm gonna copy and i'm gonna paste it right on top okay and i'm gonna edit that so that it's smaller Okay, and once you got that to your liking, uh, you're gonna um, you're gonna file save as we're gonna call it Epic Gamer Cutout, and make it a PNG. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So for this thumbnail, uh, yes, I know this is like a little blurry, but don't worry, it looks much better when it's like smaller as the actual thumbnail. Right now, it's a little like pixelated. You can also sharp. Like when it's originally put in, it's a little blurry on the edges. You can sharpen it just a little bit, make it look a little neater, like right there. 10 is good. Okay, and now I want to add in other thumbnails as uh, examples. So, okay, so now that I got those in, I want to add some borders so that they look nicer. So I'm just going to go to icon, rectangle, oh, not in all caps. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get a basic rectangle here, uh, and it's white already, perfect. That looks good, and now, oh wait, hold on, I have to change the order so it's not. That's good, and now we want another one. Uh, you guys can mess with the order so it looks better. Okay, so we got those up, all right, that's good. And then we want to add a text, so we wanna add this here, we're gonna say how to how to make okay how to make um and we're gonna put that right right uh, we'll put it right there. We're gonna take that border off anyways. 
there, and then we want a shadow and outline, or wait, eh, I don't know. Okay, so I took out the uh, shadow and I made it just an outline, and now it's uh, the blue and the white, okay, and it's how to make, and then down here I'm going to put thumbnails, I'm going to make sure it's aligned to the top one, um, okay, thumbnails. Boom, um, I think that's pretty good guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty good in my opinion, let's make sure it's aligned real quick, okay, 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 I think that's good guys. Okay guys, so I, uh, before I show you how to download it, I actually changed the color from uh, blue to red and white, so yeah. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to download and I do JPEG because YouTube doesn't like big files for their thumbnails and then you just start downloading it's going to download into your system here boom so guys that is how you make quick easy and free thumbnails uh, let me got, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to show you that I do as a YouTuber, you know, the YouTuber life. Um, but other than that, I got nothing else for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.